Hey guys, welcome to episode 163 of Foreplay Anime Cast. And that moment of silence that I just took was me not wanting to do this podcast for the first time in a long while. It is the 24th. So we'll cancel the podcast? All right. <laughs> it is the 24th of January. We're doing this on a Sunday because unfortunately, uh, Nier did have some uh, unfortunate health issues on Saturday. So delaying it a little bit, but we are all fine here now. Near your stomach isn't exploding or anything, right? We're we're good. Yeah, I'm good. You got you All got right. no rumblies in your tummies. Aspire for the near. <laughs> <near. laughs> All yeah. right, so so everybody's here, all well and safe, and we are heading into the second part of our winter 2021 season. And again, since there are already a bunch of very sort of uh, interesting premise series, we're pretty much going to dive right into it, regardless of whether they've been super fleshed out or not. You know, some of these are pretty much. Uh, adaptations of their original format, whether it's manga or light novel or whatever. So obviously we can cover that in detail as well. But without further ado, here are our here are my Patriots, Dark. Hey, how you doing? Toast. I just got a real spicy take, but I can't say it out loud. But hey, but hey, hey it's me. And near. Hi. All right, so everybody's here today. So. Let's just cover the past two weeks, shall we? Starting with you, Dark. How uh, have your past two weeks been? Uh, they've been all right. Still, uh, still playing, playing a little bit of while, WoW, you know. Yeah, it's so uh, pretty quiet. Other than that, been getting like addicted to fucking Tom Clancy games. You know, playing... <laughs> all of a sudden. Yeah, I've been playing Division Two, and now Ghost Recon Breakpoint because they're on sale, and they're pretty. They're both pretty good now. Oh, you know, gonna okay. get that uh Capcom collab in the Division Two. Yeah, that's pretty cool with Resident Evil. I'm pretty excited to get like a hunk outfit in that, and like ah! probably Samurai Edge. So okay. you know, it's pretty dope. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Tom Clancy, right. cool guy. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty under, pretty uh, unknown cool series. Games. <laughs> yeah, he makes he develops some pretty cool fucking games. Anyways, what about you, Toast? Did you see Suisei's unarchived stream today? That was pretty hot. No, I don't. Why? Really, why? I don't why? Do you hate? Do you hate when Japanese girls sing English songs? <laughs> yeah, I just hate Japanese people. Sorry, guys. Honestly, <laughs> sick it's him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't watch full streams. And more, more, more Calliope's doing an endurance stream till she reaches 1 million. I'm watching that. It's cool. Oh, yikes. Okay. Oh, she's almost, it's only been like an hour or two and she's about 4k away. Oh, totally yeah. Fine. I mean, the endurance streams usually uh, kind of boost this up. Right. She should have, oh. she should have started at like uh, 600k. Anyway. She started at 988. She's like 996 now. So, whatever. Yeah. That's still pretty good. Pretty okay. fast. I mean, usually that's sort of the standard, like just wait until yeah. you're kind of 4K or however many away and then go for it. Anyways, yeah. in terms of anime, did you what did you watch the past two weeks? Uh, shit. Uh, what, what did I watch? Ho- Hollow Live? Can we? All right. Graffiti? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Le- Lamy 3D. That was cool. By the way, can yeah. I can Polka, I Polka appeared in the latest Holo Graffiti. That was that was cool. Finally, fifth fifth gen. Uh, can can I just say that uh, this is this is a little bit late? But Toast was like, oh, by the way, because Holo Life Graffiti is an O and N, it counts for anime. No, it does not count for it's anime. On, it's on my anime list. If it's an O and A, any fucking Nico there. Nico video would count as anime. Okay, that's not how that works. <laughs> are you are you saying that not Apple every Nico Nico animation? video is on uh, Mall? You know, yeah. they don't have the. <laughs> it's because my anime list people are such a. I'm says not says say the here. guy <laughs> says the guy who uses my anime list. Oh, I apologize. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Curious. <laughs> it's all conspiracy, guys. Anyways, yeah. uh, I just had to get that off my chest. But other than that... Uh, do you, do you want else? me to say my hot take? Because I'll say my hot take. Is your hot take related to what we're going to talk about later? No. It's the thing that the <laughs> last thing that I posted in the uh, Discord. 
Yeah. Oh, don't this. Worry, don't worry about no, it. No, don't. <laughs> Please don't. Anyway. I, I don't. Do, I do, I heavily disagree. But whatever. It's not even a hot take. It's just people being stupid. Anyways, uh, I guess we're moving on to near then. Where did you cover these? Where did you? <laughs> what did I you eat the these past two weeks, near? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's the better question. Um. So. Yeah, we had to delay the podcast a day because uh, I had a burger and from, uh, from Harvey's, which is a yeah, Canadian okay. chain. Um, you know, I've never had issues with them before. And, uh, you know, I ate my burger. It was pretty good. Uh, and then, like, maybe three minutes after I ate my burger, I was like, okay, something's wrong. And uh, I was on the toilet for for quite a while, um, so yeah, I think something was wrong with it. Um, yeah, that wasn't uh, wasn't a very pleasant experience. Uh, <laughs> my stomach was kind of kind of hurting a little bit. Um, luckily, it didn't come out both ends, but you know, yeah. Uh, other than that, um, you know, I've been playing Shadowverse. Uh, Oh yeah, near. How did you place in the the tourney? Um, uh, like I said, I kind of just I kind of didn't bother going for group A, uh, because that's really annoying. Um, so I did group B, and I got two out of three wins. So it's okay, I guess. Yeah, I, I got three out of five, whatever that means. Yeah, but um, I'm not sure. I might take a break from Shadowverse. Um, I mean, you've done totally... most of the things that you might have wanted to do, right? Yeah, um, I might take a break until the mini expansion, uh, mostly because I feel like the meta right now is really unhealthy. Um, like probably, Surprise. probably the worst it's been since, um, I don't know, probably since like. in conflict maybe um it's pretty bad yeah. uh so because like the expansion came out right and mm -hmm. aggro was like really strong right um mm -hmm. which i don't really have an issue with personally uh you know a lot of shadowers players are like you know whenever aggro is strong uh the game just isn't fun to play because like shadow is a game about combos and shit and it's like well no i mean there should always be at least one aggro deck that's like strong, at least viable, to keep combo decks like in check, right? right. Um, but uh, yeah, so the problem with the, I guess, the aggro decks that came out within this expansion is they were top tier, like they were really strong. Like Vehicle Dragon is like terrorizing the ladder. Um, yeah, I've heard I've heard some horror stories about that. Yeah, and I, so I I got to Group A using Aggro Shadow, yeah. and it's pretty and good. So um, so you know the absolute um, like disgusting people that are Shadowverse players, right? Uh, they go, how do I counter sh Aggro right now? Um, and I guess the most consistent answer that they found was uh, Grief Haven which is a new Haven archetype that came out, uh, which is basically just, I will pack my entire deck, literally every single card in my deck will be healing. And the uh, only thing I will do all game is heal until I get to turn 10 and I become basically invincible and there's nothing that you can do to clear my board and all the momentum that you've wasted trying to do a single point of damage to me is gone and i win and it is probably the least fun deck to play against in like the history of shadowers it is fucking awful uh <laughs> to the point where if i ever like if i match up against haven and like on turn one i see them play like one of the amulets that mm -hmm. that deck has, I just quit. Like I'm just <laughs> done. Um, and it's gotten to the point where the meta is very rock paper scissors, right? Mm -hmm. Which is obviously really bad. Um, like it's it's so rock paper scissors where it's like you know if you're going to lose, 
by turn like two. Uh-huh. Uh, which really, I don't think Shadowverse has been like that bad since like Wonderland Dreams, right? Um, so I'm probably going to take a break. Uh, there is supposed to be like maintenance tomorrow, I think, but they haven't announced any nerfs or buffs, which is really worrying. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to take a break. Yeah, but, I think that's probably healthier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's about it for me. So pretty quiet, pretty quiet. Uh, as for me, I haven't done too much again. Uh, doing real life stuff, balancing out the schedules, uh, watching s- or getting or getting used to. I mean, I've had my new com- new laptop for a while, but still getting used to downloading stuff on and doing whatever. Um, again, setting up my schedule a little bit better, work ba- work life balance. I've been getting a little bit more into just. Um, well, I want to again go go back to visual novels a little bit more, but I haven't gotten uh, the the time to. And the series I have been watching, I've been watching stuff like Andre, a couple of stuff that you know I I said I would watch in the previews. Try to stay a little bit away from the uh, gay boy series that I have to cover sooner or later. Have to, uh, he says. Well, I mean, unless you guys don't cover your series, then I have to I have to do mine. But and then of course the series that I'm going to cover or talk about in this podcast. I didn't really want to watch, but I am going to be covering and so so I watched that redo of healer. So we'll talk about that in a little bit, but that's that for now. But yeah, before we get into that and all the hollow blue that comes with it, let's shunt over instead to dark what have you got for us this week oh boy um so i have a series that we were somewhat excited about i would say yeah we thought it was a decent pretty interested in it um yeah it's called back arrow uh this is the one that we said it kind of looked like a saint Seiya, right yeah 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 so series looks bad just get that out of the way <laughs> it's is it like card fight vanguard kind of like because it did it go like card fight vanguard or like whatever of, i mean it's weird it's like i assume it's the same studio that did it but it's the same director for um is it, oh no it's not the same studio which is interesting uh at least i think right studio Vaughn did this uh, and they so did. Uh, they've done like I don't incidents. We should Sivrat, but they did like I want to eat your pancreas. It's it Shiro looks Takora. like they're all all of these are kind of like they're working together. Yeah, they're they're co-producing. Yeah, or, a lot yeah, of it's production assistant. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. So idle incident. Yeah. You know, Karakuri Circus. They're all no Karakuri Circus is like one of the first sort of more like bigger yeah it's it's one of their it's their first non-co-animated series pretty much that's like an actual thing <laughs> anyway well, uh, so what was karakuri town was that bleach i think I that's know. bleach right i don't know I don't anyways know. go on maybe but yeah um so the problem problem with the series is that it like or rather, I should, I should probably get a little bit more into it. Um, so basically, the series is about people with... Uh, it's like they're living within a walled world, essentially. There's like a round like where everything is like... No, nah, it's like these giant... Like You just basically see light and like circuits almost, like circuit lines in the distance. It's like Truman um, Show. Yeah, and they they think that there's nothing beyond it, and that the wall is like a sacred thing. Um, and they fight with these like armbands that let them turn into like those mechs, essentially based on their conviction. Oh, um, so it's mechs so instead of just Power Ranger kind of or Sentai. Yeah. Stuff. So instead of well, it's mechs. Not re- well. It is mm-hmm. and it isn't. It's basically like. 
it seems to be almost like Ultraman type shit where they're like kind of in it, but not really. Okay. Um, because if you get killed in it, you fucking vaporize normally. <laughs> you um, die in real life. Yes. That's yeah. Standard. Yes. Basically, if you get defeated in it, you just disintegrate. Yes. Um, and so there's like mass produced soldiers that use it. That all look the same because, you know, they're mass produced, like they don't really have any convictions. Um, so like the rogue people are more and like leaders are more like have unique forms, um, which I thought was an interesting enough idea. Uh, but so the series, it's so hard to describe because it's, it's fast. It's like watching a series in like a two or three times speed. Um, everyone talks really fast, including Sugita. Like <laughs> they're all talking like a mile a minute. You, could have told me this was like is, is there a reason why they're doing it or I is it don't, just the direction I, no it's just gotta be it's gotta just be the direction <laughs> it, like you could have told me this was like a Chinese show where they're saying like way too much shit in like these lines that they have to compensate for it right 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 and I would have believed you like they're, <laughs> it's it's so fast there's like no breathing time whatsoever um but our main character uh shows up in like this pod thing mm -hmm. uh, which they thought was from the wall in this like what would you call like backwater-ish like western-ish type town um, and he has no memories at that and he gets his name because he gets called in, like an idiot uh, so he takes Bacchiato and then essentially like mistranslates that Oh. That'll be my name. That's cool. That is fucking like, okay. awesome. Yeah, really cool, man. Um, and there's just like there's a scatter shot of like a ton of shit that happens that I remember, but it's like, why did this happen? Like it introduces characters, and there's so there's like this entire town of like these Western characters that I guess are going to be important, but me, but they're not the main characters anyway. And it's like, why is there so much shit dedicated to them? Like, why, why is there all this crazy shit going on? Like one of the side characters, I guess she's like the sheriff or something of the town. And like a kid almost falls off a cliff and she like uses a whip to, wrap it around their leg while they're falling and fucking swing them back up to safety. I'm just like, but why is this happening? So do they, is it, is this in media rest? Like what's going on here? No, 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 no. Like this is, this is during the show, like before back arrow even shows up. No, I meant, like, I meant like, do they, do they give any sort of foreshadowing or in media no. rest or is it? Anything? Okay. So it's just happening. <laughs> no, like it's, yeah. It just throws you in. It's like, this is just happening. All right, um, then. <laughs> yeah, and then, like, back arrow it kicks a guy's ass and, like, his neck, and it doesn't fucking kill him. And they're like, what? Is there, is there, is there a railroad or anything to towards something? Like, is it, is it going towards something? What, yeah, he here? needs to get... He's saying he's from the other side of the wall, and everyone's like, dude, there's nothing on the other side of the wall. What are you talking uh, about? Yeah. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Uh, <laughs> level of <laughs> Yeah, so it's like... That's, like, kind of the big thing going on and then Sugita's character is like you know he's, he seems to be like a royalty type character and he's like just super interested in it because he's like you know, a lot of people shun that even that line of thought but he's like mm -hmm. yeah but this guy seems pretty convinced so that's really interesting um but yeah it's just not uh I don't know. It's so fast. Like, it's so fast. It's so, unbelievably fast. I'm looking at the mall page, and this is 24 episodes, right? Which is This insane. is 24 episodes? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so like, this is 24 if episodes. If you watch you all 24, think... your brain is going to, like, drip out of your nose. <laughs> it's going to be too much. Do you, do you think they're just, like, they're just putting, like, the initial, I guess, like, setup of the cast and, like, the initial premise? And like super speed, so they can, I don't know, like slow it down later on or what? Be an um, actual like show, weird show in the series, like later, yeah. So, I mean, it's possible, but the issue becomes like 
the fact that it's not so much that they're throwing all these things so fast either. It's just that, like, everything is fast. Like, the shots are fa- are too fast. The characters talking, it's too fast. Like, it's unnaturally quick. Uh-huh. So, I don't... I just think it's like, this is just a mess for some reason. Um, So, it's possible. It's possible it improves and it, like, slows down. Like, I thought, oh, maybe it's just me, but then, like... I watched an episode of like Jujutsu Kaisen and like Dr. Stone. And I'm like, no, this is the pace that like normal people speak. <laughs> like, this is not, this is not right. Um, this is, this is the guy behind, this is like one of the main people in, um, yeah, it's really is, weird because the director is like the director of Code Geass. Well, the guy uh, writing director, it, director, the guy writing it is director, one of the main guys behind uh, yeah. Burn Lagan and Kamara. I mean, the, director, and, like, the, the director is the guy oh. that directed fucking Code Geass. And then the series the writer version right. is the guy that is the original creator for Brand New Animal, uh, Kill the Kill, and right. Gurren Lagan. Yeah, and yeah, he obviously so worked I, on I the trigger stuff like Kamari. What the fuck? Like, what happened? So, <laughs> so, so, can can I just say? Th- I guess this is this is gonna be my this first also, hot take. Like, listen, Mall, like Mall, yeah, haha, Mall scores. This has a six point zero nine on Mall. Like, that's that's still a red flag. Like, that's not. Can I? Can I, wait? Can I say something? Okay, look. So this might be my first hot take in in this hot podcast. I don't know whether it'll be my second. Whether there will be a second one in this podcast, but. If somebody later down the road is like, oh, but, you know, Trevor has all this good writing, blah, 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 right? Or look at the plot with these series. I don't know who the fuck says that. Can I, can I, can I show them this series? Because it's technically, this is essentially written by, like, one of the Trigger slash Gainax guys, right? <laughs> like, Kazuki Nakashima, right? Can I, is, is this a thing? What happened? What happened with the writing? <laughs> I do not. I couldn't tell you. Like it is, <laughs> it is so weird that like this show is like this. Like I don't, I don't I mean, know why it's this way. Because it's, it's hard like to blame. Too it's hard to blame many people. You know, like it's too much. Too many cooks. Too many chefs. Yeah. Well, and, yeah. So I guess like that could be it. But then it's also like. I don't know. Like I, I don't I don't see this series like be after episode one and two, like I don't see this being able to like pick itself up. The audio visuals are also not particularly great. The CG is okay blended. Like it's probably the like best of the not great blending. <laughs> <laughs> It's That's not, a good it's it. not like, um, like index season three JC staff or like one punch man season two, like awful, like where you can just fucking see immediately. Yeah. Love life um, kind of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not like that, but it's not, um, it's not that much better. Right. Like mm-hmm. it's, it's not. I don't know. I think they did decently with the models and stuff, and that's kind of what does it. The other it's thing so is that weird. This is the director this series of has Active so, Rage. So many too. big names. Like, but but the thing is, okay. So I mean, there's a difference between having like big names and having a studio that like does. Because at the end of the day, like you can have a great, you know, a chief animator or whatever, right? But then if like the studio just kind of shits it up right if all the in-between frames or if all like the people that are animating are doing whatever the the i don't want to say grunt work because that's unfair to those people right but the the people that are actually like setting up the foundation like the non-directorial stuff right if they all kind of shit it up then it doesn't matter right (laughs) at the end of the day i just find it weird because it's like it's like this is this is a lot of big names together so uh, I'm kind of curious as to why they would go with this studio. I, like yeah, a, I don't it's know. It's a pretty this unknown a... studio, right? So uh, It's probably due to like connections. Uh, remember that this... Okay, so the studio was founded on Bob Bob, ex-Madhouse producer, Bob Bob Mappa. 
I mean, he's he, the people, you know, and they're probably all kind of like looking around and kind of, they they probably network together. Is is what I'm saying, right? It's not. I like, guess it's just because like even the even the the original character designer is the uh, the creator of Magi. Like what? Yeah. Really? Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> I just did a double take. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, it's kind of weird that they would go with uh, an almost, like, unheard of studio that's only done, like, one other. I mean, I, the, the, the thing is, Volm Studio itself is composed of people who are, at least at the top, are yeah. trustworthy, right? It's not like they're just some random studio that popped up and they're like, hey, let's go or whatever it's, it's literally like they're in the, even name like visiting old learn new is apparently the why the acronym Volm exists but it's like the the, the people at the top of Volm aren't aren't like idiots right they're they're yeah. actual experienced people but i think at the end of the day um probably again a combination of like COVID environments and you know the second race studio not ultimately again second race studio in terms of resources right uh, not being able to pull stuff together properly means that it doesn't matter whether you have um, all these directors and famous people, whatever, if you don't have the resources, if you don't have the studio, if you don't have the people, if you don't have the manpower, if you don't have the proper timeline, and especially as Dark might have implied, you know, if, if you have a bunch of chefs in the same kitchen, right, spoiling the, spoiling the soup, whatever, broth, um, then just goes awry right and it's very unfortunate that that happens but it does happen from time to time so yeah um so this is like a i don't know if you want to see where it goes go for it but i would <laughs> I would just recommend passing just this like, is the, not... this is this is a secret trigger series <laughs> this is this is the trick <laughs> this is a series that trigger sends out as their baby like this is not us but whatever it's kind of that <laughs> And then later on, they'll do an actual trick. It's very how, how many times are they going to try and remake Gurren Lagan? Okay, a lot. Forever, forever. The first, That's the answer. First was Kill La Kill. I mean, they're going to be chasing that shit for a and long then, time. Freaking, what, what was next to the, the what? The one that was in theaters. It had it was about firemen. What's it called? I'm blanking out on it. Promare. I mean, yeah, Promare. And then now they're doing the back, back arrow. When will it stop? <laughs> exactly. When will it stop? When will they when stop will trying to make stop Gurren Lagan Again, because okay. Gurren Lagan is pretty good. I still consider it the best one out of all the ones that I mentioned. I would disagree. I wouldn't say but, that. Um, little, witch, I mean, little Witch Hero Academia. Just, that one's pretty good, just, though. Uh, or in, uh, Inferno Cop, that one's good, too. I like that one. This is just like... It's just weird because it's not. Yeah, it's just all these people and then not very good. If you want a series that's like actually like pretty fun, a pretty fun watch that's like good episodic shit similar to this, but like probably more Tokusatsu element to it, uh, mm -hmm. just go watch um, Active Raid from the same director. <laughs> uh, Anyways. It's very so important. It's active oh, raid, no. active raid with the classic line, thank you, Mr. Terrorist. <laughs> oh, jeez. How many uh, episodes of Back Arrow are out? I've three. only seen the first. Three? I've seen the first right, two. Right. I don't think I'd watched three. But the first two had enough, like, I would say in it for a lot of things. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the pacing like slows down and it gets better, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Anyways, uh, pretty unfortunate, but again, it is what it is. It's you know these sorts of series where, by some factor behind the scenes, that obviously we've guessed a bunch of them, but probably due to some small combination of all of those factors, this series didn't come out as well as we'd expect. Oh well. Anyways, thank you, Dark, for covering Back Arrow. We did need to cover that since it was one of the big names coming up in this season. And we move now on to Toast. What? Already? Yes. What do you have for us, sir? I forgot the name of my series. What is it again? It's Oredake Haireru Kakushi Dungeon, or yeah, The that. Hidden Dungeon Only I Can Enter. So, uh, it looks nice. 
Really? The, the, the girls look nice. That's all, that's all I got for you. Wait a minute. Oh, that matters. Other than that, it sucks. Who's the... It's... Okuto? Ah, Okuto Noboru. Ah, I don't know who that is. They're apparently working Isekai on... Isekai Mao and, oh, N- Neptunia? Nice. I can see Well, uh, they're, they're doing the second season. They didn't do the first season, actually. What? The first well, season... Uh, Ajado did uh, the first season. And Ajado is a pretty... Uh, they're a pretty strong tier one, 2, tier 1.5 studio these days. They're, but they're doing... They usually end up doing a lot of these sorts of rom-com Isekai series things. I see only four on the list here. One of them is... is... Planetaria, yeah, I didn't want they that. They seem to be a pretty new studio. Nep- Neptunia, uh, I mean, the, the the biggest problem I had with the Neptunia series is that the faces didn't they didn't look like a Day of Life season one. Yeah. Well, do you have any problems yeah. with uh, Neptunia oh. OVA? OV, wait, the OVA? Uh, yeah. uh, I don't. Then yeah, they, they suck. The eyes in this the anime remind me of something, but I don't know what it is. It's yeah, anime. <laughs> oh, thank you. True. What was the series where there was a bunch of like high, like high, high school class... DXD? No, 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 no. The <laughs> the high class like Ojo Sama uh, ones, and then there Tokyo were... Ravens. No, Tokyo Ravens. What? The... What are you talking <laughs> about, bro? There was a bunch of like Ojo Sama, and then it was like a rom com. Ladies uh... versus butlers. Oh, you're close, but that's not. No, it's it's an it's an uh, it's the recent one. But anyways, go. Do, did you have anything about Kakushi Dungeon? Oh, okay. Or? Yeah, it sucks. It's not it on sucks. the level of uh, the, the 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 slime one that I hate, but it sucks. Mm-hmm. My first, <laughs> my first, uh, my first checkpoint. It's straight, straight. What the heck is this called again? I I need the full title. Go come on, give me one sec. There it is. Is okay. this the H-E one? Yeah. My my first the first the first one. Is his is his name Noru or Noir? I can't tell because I only read the manga. It's probably Noru. <laughs> Show no. me a sample. Yes, Session is gets uh, two hundred points to Gryffindor. Show me a sample is what I was thinking. Session, you get to take my spot on the podcast <laughs> next time. <laughs> The point, uh, the eyes really, oh, the man. animation style and eyes really remind me of a showman sample anime. Uh, although, this, obviously, it doesn't this... remind me of the light novel adaptation because the art is quite different. Is showman sample the one where the dude was like, hey, you're my sister? Then some other chick was like, no, I'm your no, sister. No, that's, that's the, oh. that's, no, that's different. That's, um, I know what you're talking about, but it's different. <laughs> I think that was in the same series or season, though. No, this was way, this was like, Four years after this, was <laughs> it? yeah, because the sister one was along with Gaurare, like the flag breaking. It was like way back oh. in like 2012, 2013, almost. Okay. Wow, no one remembers those. <laughs> God, we're so we're like we were searching in our mind libraries, but we're just like, what is happening? Yeah. We're just like, there are things here and there, <laughs> and people, much, the view, the viewers have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> We're just old people. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Maybe you're old. Oh, and anyway, where was I? So my mom. So the first one, Noru. He, you know, he he's a lowly, the the worst of the nobles, the commoner noble, the baronet class, and who cares about that? But he's got a unique skill called the Great Sage, and everyone mm-hmm. knows who the Great Sage is, it's right? Yeah, greedy Jesus. <laughs> basically it's like you, you get all the knowledge in the world by asking the dude you get but but your main drawback is you get a headache and okay that's fine but then he learns that the only way to solve the headache because the great sage merlin had the same problem too the only way to solve it is by kissing his wives so thankfully he's he's got emma who, who's his childhood friend who has no problems with kissing him Good for you. Yeah, so he's like, damn, I got no money and I, I'm a bum. Can... <laughs> and he's like, great sage, please uh, tell me how to get stronger. And then he's all like, 15,000 kilometers to this this area. There's a hidden dungeon. And here's a secret password. 
Then he's then, so he finds a secret dungeon and and he, and he says the pa the password to open the lock, which is uh, guess what it is. What is Sesame? The, the password to open the secret dungeon is literally the whole title of this series. Oh wow! Okay, that's get, very on the get nose. it, get it. <laughs> See, so he says the hidden dungeon only on I can enter. Please make me the strongest. And then he enters the hidden dungeon. And then, then he find he finds some chick in a wall, and he says she's all she's all she's she's all like, "Hey, dude, how'd you get in here?" And then she's like, "I got trapped in this death chains thing, so I can't get out." But I heard you you want to become strong. Here, take my skills. So and, can and, I? Uh, and the, and don't worry, her skills are are completely convenient for him to pass the adventure test. You know. She's got the skills create, anything, bestow, and edit. So how much is it, is it? Is this, can I, can I ask something? I mean, to get right to the point. Is this, how much isekai world building kind of stuff is there? And how much of it is just kind of like Dogeza and like the whole, what we talked about before the podcast where. Dogeza is better than this. What are you talking about? I'm not talking about what whether it's better. What I'm saying is, does it have more of just what stuff like Dogeza and like Hachimete Dokea and all that stuff has, where it's just like, you know... Oh, you're, ta you're, you're, talking about like the, you're talking about the bases? How, yeah, how yeah, far? yeah, yeah. Or the ratio, the ratio generally. Uh, what do you mean ratio? The the balance between, you know, act, doing character development or isekai or whatever and doing whatever, you know, showing off the booze. Because, look, I'm one of the voice actors here right now is uh, Amomiya Soda, right? And she's, she's she's playing a character. She's playing a character, Aqua Konosuba, right? Um, but she's, the description for her character says, Boba Elna is very harsh with her students, but she doesn't mind using her sex appeal to motivate the male students, getting to the point oh, her, of... Oh, the teacher chick, she's pretty cool. Yeah, she's rewarding her students by sitting in their faces. So how yeah, much I, of this, I like... That. I, that scene was... <laughs> that, this actually happens? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that, scene, that scene was, like, probably the best scene in the entire series, okay. and it probably will be. I mean, yeah. the, Christian says no world building, it's, fan it's a fantasy world, but I mean, uh, I, I'm not necessarily looking for world building. This will, That would almost be too good for this sort of series. What I'm saying is, like, just in general, non, you know, boobs and whatever. Okay, so let, let me talk books. about it. He's okay. 15, 16 years old-ish, so you, you won't get that far with anything. So I... Okay. Sec, sec, second base. <laughs> That didn't stop a lot of other series. <laughs> that didn't stop a lot of other series. So That's yeah, what I'll, you say, okay. but... getting back to the point, is the, the the cheat skills that he got from what's her name, Olivia? Is it Olivia? No. L L uh, no. What is her? Yeah, Ol yeah, it's Olivia. Yeah, Olivia vo Servant. Voiced by Yui Hori. Yeah, you guys know who she is. She's cool. How do you know Hori and Yui? But not I'm gonna be sort of at the stage, bro. <laughs> Anyways, because okay. Yui Hori is the uh, that one chick in uh a... yeah the the green haired chick that was cool the green haired chicken yeah you know that one series that probably in in, in, in what in, series in, 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 uh, Inukami yeah she voiced Yoko in Inukami that was cool <laughs> is that is that is that the series okay anyways yeah. keep going so uh. Yeah. Yeah, so the way to use her, you know, the create whatever power is you got to expend life points to use it. And how do you get life points? LP? You play, you play Yu-Gi-Oh. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you, 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 you got to, you got to be a hedonist. That, that means. Yeah, you got to do loot stuff. stuff. Yeah. No, 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 not just loot stuff. You, you got to do se se sex oh, stuff. Oh, you got to actually have food. to do like sexual acts with them. Okay. Eat, eat food and. Binge, binge money, you know. Oh, so like seven sins kind of stuff. Sure, okay, you gotta be. So. You, I just, okay. I just said you gotta be hedonist. But you know, okay. since since this story made for little boys, all you gotta do do the pervy things. Oh, right? new experiences only. Uh, okay, apparently. So yeah, so okay. so the whole thing about this series is, oh hey hey yeah yeah, I I Emma Emma. Uh, let me kiss you, cause 
a nibble on your ear for my LP, and she's like, okay, but only because we're childhood friends, you know, because apparently you can do this stuff even when you're not dating. Emma is blonde, guess. right? So is she Sundere? Sundere? Or what, what's going on here? What do you mean? Sundere? No. Oh, okay. She she wouldn't is that if she was, bro. Yeah, <laughs> bro. But yeah, what what else? And then, there can be know, varying degrees. And then varying. there's the guild chick. Green, she's okay. Cool. Yeah, I mean, the the all the other girls, boy, boy it's not really. But that's why I said the, the girl, the, the, at least the girls are nice. This is, is this Shosetsu or is this, did this start oh, out as a light novel? Is, what do you mean? I, I mean, some, some started out as light novel, some started out as web novel, right? This, this is, is web novel. Is it? What? Did it go from web novel to LN or did it start from LN? What, what's happening here? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm guessing this started from Shosetsu, right? Yeah, this is Shosetsu, and then it got. Okay. What, what's the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyways, Wait. any last words on? <laughs> no, I, I gotta keep going. Where, where am I going? So please do not ex- do not narrate the entire series. So well, yeah, so the series is not all like. Narrate. Let me tell you another thing I don't like. This is supposed to be an isekai. That's not an isekai, but it's classified as one, right? Because sure. the, the classification of an isekai is. It's now a fantasy-like genre that has game-like elements. Yeah, I mean, we, okay. we again, we talked about this before in our uh, Isekai Roundtable, right? Where, where we had a big discussion and I kept sort of... I know, you know, Dark and Mir and you sort of had stronger opinions about, you know, drawing the line. But then I was... I wouldn't say I was a devil's advocate because I wasn't... I mean, I, I seriously think still think this, but I still think that... <sighs> A lot of isekai, in terms of defining the genre, is still sort of based around where the subculture is. And the subculture is heavily based around a lot of this sort of uh, high fantasy, sort of dark fantasy, uh, power fantasy, right? Three fantasies, high fantasy, high feudal fantasy, power fantasy kind of thing, right? So they're all kind of mixed together. And that's sort of because that's what Iskai is based around. A lot of stuff where the guy is might be, you know, born as a noble in some sort of high fantasy thing, might be chucked into an Iskai anyways, because, you know, it's it ends up going through all the same routes, right? The the dude gets the power suddenly and then max all the girls, max on all the girls suddenly. And then max on more girls, and then does stuff, right? So it's kind of because it kind of all goes through the same route, and it's meant to go go through all the same route, right? In in this case of sort of the quasi or the pseudo isekai, the start does not matter, right? <laughs> he discovered game, yeah. Sessio said he discovered video game mechanics uh, in the world. So in this sort of pseudo isekai, right? The in this sort of modernized isekai variant, this cancerous isekai variant. The start of the initial premise of the isekai almost doesn't matter, right? The in, what I'm saying is the initial sort of how the guy gets launched into fame and stardom and power doesn't really matter. So, so he's like a video of... game NPC, like waking up or what? No, uh, that's not, no, not this, really. This, but what, what, what I'm saying, what I'm is, saying yeah. is that conceptually. The what world I'm... just has like RPG mechanics. O- Olivia, I, no, Olivia. Essentially, essentially, what he's Olivia. what he is. Like he's uh. he's like weak. Sorry, wait, so let me. Do, do you want? Like, do you want? Well, I'm just I'm just saying to Nier. It's like he. he that's not that's we're... not that's not what he's asking. What he's asking is how the game elements work. How it works is that uh. Olivia's that Olivia specifically Olivia's powers of create, edit, and whatever mm-hmm. work on an LP gate, and he gains. Amount of LP gauge depending on how pl- pleased he is with wh- whatever a- a- happens. So yeah. So if he wants to, so he want if he wants to make whatever skill he can, because he can make any skill that he wants, he has to. He has to do a thing, and then it gets converted to LP. So, and then every skill has a indeterminate amount of LP cost. It really doesn't matter in this show because there's no really r- rhyme or reason on how it works. Mm-hmm. So then it's like, hey, I, I need this amount of LP. Emma, let's do some stuff. And she's like, okay. And then, and then the characters find it weird that they just have access to video games. Like, no, yeah, no, I mean, no one knows. No, right? I don't think so, they, uh, no it, one it, knows except. I'm pretty sure it's supposed, it's almost like, um, 
what is it? Uh, why can't I think of it? Uh, the one with Aqua and shit. It sounds like Konosuba? it's like that. Yeah, Konosuba, where it's like just a world that has these like RPG elements. Yeah, Konosuba, I mean, the, for all intents and purposes, I, Konosuba, even though it's an Isekai, like it's still not a video game, but it has video game elements. To to be fair, though, I I think this whole discretization, the finding of the video game elements, and the discretization discretization of power into experience points, into skill levels, whatever, uh, misses the salient point. And I I almost wish that we could do another. Isekai Roundtable, I think, I think it'll, it's almost prime time for another one. But I think the whole discretization of these points is not as important as the fact that this culture is all leading towards, again, this OC character, or, or sorry, original character, right? I don't know why I said OC character. This OC, I'm so powerful, but I'm also able to, you know, pluck these high elves' ears and, you know, you know, tickle, tickle a kemono mimi and blah, 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 all this power. That's the salient point, I think. And again, it no longer matters. It no longer matters that the initial guy is a small-time noble that woke to this power or whether it's some guy that got hit on the head by a truck and died and got reincarnated as baby or he, it was a, or it's an old warrior dude that, you know, died peacefully and then got resurrected as a young elf man or whatever. I don't think this matters. And this is just Iskai by virtue of the fact that it is just going along with that, what that subculture wants. It's going along with that, what that community and that ecosystem is all has always been craving, which is, oh, I am so freaking powerful and I can also have sex with elves, right? That's, I, yeah, I think that's the important I just point find it weird on. that like, I feel like a lot of these series with like the video game stuff. That's because uh, it's simple, right? It's 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 an easy way to show progress. It's it's numbers, right? Uh, it, I mean, I guess, that. but but the way Toys is kind of describing it with this one in particular, it's like, yeah, they discover like like these video game mechanics, but then they're kind of just like, yeah, that's normal. It's like, it's normal. It's 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 normal as in like it's, like it's I presented would, to I would the community normal. Fuck out, man. Like. Yeah, 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 because because again, we're not. These writers aren't. <laughs> How do I say this nicely? These writers are not Hemingway. <laughs> like, these writers are not the same authors you knew in the science, golden era of science fiction in the seventies. This is not the like same. If people. I if I woke up one day and I could open up like a sub menu and I could see like my stats, I'd be like, I would have like an existential breakdown of yeah, like what what reality is. It's, again, works, it's how it works is because Olivia's been trapped in the dungeon for 200 plus years or whatever, so she's some legendary adventurer, and it's only explained that only she has these powers, and so it's passed down to her successor or whatever, and they just hand wave it off. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like, I mean, oh, the okay, original you have the, the you have the power to do whatever you want in a game like way, but everyone just brushes it off. I mean, the, or, okay, the, whatever. Yeah, I, I think the the origin of it is obviously these writers are not very good. But the bigger part of it, it, not the bigger part of it, but I guess the other half of it, and I think this is almost just as important, is that there's this sort of subgenre-based, community-based, ecosystem-based brainwashing going on. And I don't mean brainwashing in this extremely insidious way. It's just a, that's sort of how I can find it most easily. But by brainwashing, I mean... We're just kind of going along with it, right? It's the writer saying there's a point system, and the guy is like, okay. And then we, as readers, because we're in this subculture or we're inured to this sort of general idea of these things going on, right? We're used to the idea of these guys just having points. We're used to the idea of, you know, high fantasy, feudal fantasy. Uh, uh, MC characters in Japanese light novels and web novels and visual novels, whatever, just having these experience points and gaining skills and wow, boom, look at this, you know, tiger emperor thing of destiny going on. So because we're all inured to this, the moment the author is just like, yeah, this guy has points. We're like, okay, yeah. So it's sort of a general thing going on, right? It's, it's both a inside the box, that is, again, the writers being pretty lazy about it, and an outside of the box, 
this aforementioned brainwashing thing going on is how I think about it. So uh, it's 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 a it's a Gordian knot of a subculture. Is it's, it's a very yeah, talking about Gordian knots. It's a very interesting subculture. But <laughs> anyways, any last words on? Yeah, I got I got a bunch more. Let me see. So a bunch more. Wait, you say you. <laughs> Well, you keep interrupting me and going on a tangent and being all philosophical, and I just want to talk about how this show sucks, so that's on you. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, please, please keep going. <laughs> so, so he finds, so let me go back to the hidden dungeon for a sec, okay? So, he finds a hidden dungeon, right? And he, you know, he's got a, one of the adventurous tests is to say, so, hey, if you want to pass your test, you got to prove your worth as an adventurer by uh, finding materials. You know, in order to gain points to pass the test. But don't worry, it doesn't matter how you get your materials, no matter how, even if you buy them from the market, because apparently that shows off how much of an adventure are, you are, if you got money, right? So you got all the noble kids, they're like, I'm just going to buy money, or I'm just going to buy the, I'm just going to buy the, the materials I need, and, uh, you know, that proves how much of a cool adventure I am, right? Through the power of money, so there, there's that. And then he, then the, then he goes, okay, I got no money, I'm poor. So let me, so let me uh, go to the hidden dungeon and find a rare enemy, to sell it, or and sell his materials, right? Then he's all like, okay, let me. I found him. I found an enemy on the third floor, the the Death Reaper, or whatever. Guess what? It's level ninety nine. Oh no. I'm only level 23. How am I going to beat it? Blah, blah, blah. I, let me make a stone bullet, because apparently th throwing rocks is, is rudimentary magic and all isekai. Yeah, so he's so, you know, level 99, level 23, but oh no, if I get hit, I'll die. And some weird, you know, some boring stuff happens. Oh, I'm going to edit edit my rock throw skill and make it times 100. And let me defeat this Reaper in one hit, this level 99 Reaper. So most of this, the next thing is just... So yeah, okay, so here we go. I, I, beat, I beat the Reaper with some... some Tuss, some I'm bullshit. warning you, do not narrate the entire series. We've I, gone over this before. <laughs> I beat this Reaper with some bullshit. Okay, I gave my levels. Series. Here you go. I'm, I'm gonna... I, I, uh, this, this Reaper was so rare. I, I got all the materials that I needed for whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And then later on in another episode, he's all like, Okay, Emma, let's you and me fight this rabbit, and it's level thirty-four. So he's just going through hunting and leveling, right? It's this just so it's like how, then it's like oh no, there's this whole arc about how Emma's weak and I need to be, she needs to be stronger. Yeah, and just... the dude was like, then the then the here comes the dude to help Emma, but he's struggling with this stupid rabbit. But I'm Tuss, like, how Tuss, do you it... struggle with this rabbit that's level thirty-four? You're two levels off, and you beat a reaper in one hit. A level ninety nine reaper in one hit with stone bullet, and you use the yeah, same stone tells. bullet times one hundred, and you can't beat this rabbit. What? 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 Are you, what's? What's? what's yeah, up something. With this theory? Something yeah, tells my, me that here's this... my theory. Um, you spent more time recapping that than they spent thinking about writing. Yeah. Yeah. Again, so most of this just you know the rest of this. So just whatever uh, whatever game mechanics that they try to prevent to uh, talk about is blown out of the water immediately by that uh is by that uh disparity in game mechanics I should say. Yeah. Again, I I don't what want what to. Else? I don't what want else? to be. I don't want to look down on this the writer too much. But again, they're not. What they're not else? exactly uh, anyway. And so, I mean, the good olds look nice, I guess. But how, how do you have a series that, oh, I gained 1,200 LP by eating, by eating your ear, and you only gained, like, what was it, 300, 500 LP when some hot chick sits on your face? Excuse me? It's clearly, it's clearly the writer's what? fetish. There... It's clearly the writer's fetish. <laughs> I mean... Hey. Like I said, there's no there's no real uh, core mechanics. Yeah, I don't think no rhyme or reason. The, yeah, the writer clearly we need was a not proper spreadsheet here. Oh yeah, okay. give me a spreadsheet on this. Any last words, toast? This uh, this show sucks.
Yeah, I I got I figured as much. I mean, Very I read the manga and I was like, okay, whatever. This this show's okay. I saw the anime and I was like, hey, that the illustrations are better. I'll watch that. And no, it's just as bad as I remember it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fair don't 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 watch the show. I'll rate it like a five. <laughs> yeah, a five? <laughs> what? Wait a minute. I actually fuck this. I'm I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. IGN yeah, right. reviewer. Oh yeah, like a it's like five or six. Like I I, I thought maybe, about maybe a low it's... six. A low six. I'll give. I it. like I like whip back like the moment he said i'll give this a five i flashed back to all the times where toast gave different scores to or different like bad scores to anime like throughout all the years just, just like you know how people before they die it's just like flash their like they flash back through all their lives like memories it was that but with like toast rating like stuff one and three and four and blah blah and i was just like do i want to get into this conversation <laughs> and i was just like no i'm out i just i'm out i can't do this I mean, if, if you if you want if you wanted this like really boring edgy elements in this series, you got you got some spicy takes in this in this, in this same season, you know. But like, uh, yeah, this is worse than Two Love. Like, like, okay. <laughs> how how how? how uh, eh, what's the word? How? I mean, I want to say boring, but how uh, generic, sure, can you be to think, oh, wow, I'm going to watch this show for, for, for the etchy moments and really be uh, fulfilled <laughs> sexually? I, sure, okay, whatever. It's like, no, you're not going to get any of that. Even, even for an etchy show, this is like borderline boring to watch. It's not, it's not even fun. It's not even... It doesn't even sate your thirst, I guess. Yeah, let's put it that way. Yeah, this just sucks. Very unfortunate. Anyways, how is it unfortunate? You you wanted this show to be better. Well, I don't want any anime series to be bad. I don't. I'm not here wishing like, oh, I hope this series is unwatchable. I I I, I genuinely wish from the bottom of my heart that any anime is you know would be good. But sometimes, whether it's the initial premise or whether it's you know, the writers messing it up, right? It's just the inevitable. How happens. is this rated on Shosetsu? Right? Uh, it got popular, anime, I mean, so it's popular enough. Yeah. It, 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 the, the answer is popular enough. Anyways. <laughs> oh, like, what's the ratings on Shosetsu? Like a five Who out of ten? I don't, I don't trust these Japanese I motherfuckers should, you know on Shosetsu any more than I do people rating stuff on my end. From, from now sorry. on, from now on, all my scores will be will be influenced by their Shosetsu scores. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, thank you, Toast. And we move on now to Nier. What do you have for us? Wow. Um, I yeah, Nier, follow up my this this hot take. Yeah. Uh, I watched Kimono Jihan. Yes. Um, which is the. Uh, yeah, exactly. Ajia Do <laughs> series. Um, it's a manga original. Uh, and it's. Uh, I heard the manga's good. How's the anime? Uh, it's pretty good. Um, I like it. Uh, so it's about a uh, young lad named Kabane. Um, he lives in a small town, and then uh, one day a detective comes along, and uh, apparently he's a detective in the occult. Uh, mm -hmm. And you know some stuff happens, and uh, it's revealed that Kabane is a uh, a hanyo, which is a uh, half oni half person or whatever no mm -hmm. it's a half um, d it's a don't you didn't you watch inuyasha near you yeah, know what a hanyo yeah. is it's a half yeah. demon general yeah um and uh he's got a funny stone around his neck uh that prevents him from turning into a uh a ghoul and start eating people um mm -hmm. But uh, the detective decides to, you know, take him in, um, and he starts working for the uh, cold detective 
agency and then uh you know shenanigans ensue um so far there's three episodes out uh it seems mildly episodic uh with like an overarching plot kind of thing um you know the first episode is mostly just uh setting up like our main character kabane and uh uh the detective inugami um and then the second episode sort of sets up i guess the the base cast which is uh you know obviously kabane uh inugami and then there's the guy with the pink hair shiki who's like a weird uh he's also a hanyo and he's like a he's like a spider man basically he shoots webs out of his fingers um and it's kind of weird and then there's uh akira which is the uh white-haired boy um he's a otoko no ko uh and or, you know are we allowed to say trap without getting canceled what's eh. I, All right. prob- probably not. I said it for I you. I said it. No, yeah. you're 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 not responsible for the, the this. I said it. The, the, the correct term is now femboy spire. Um, <laughs> is that better? Is that a better? <laughs> I don't know about that. I but, don't. Um, think... Anyways, keep going, you. But uh, I'm judging by the OP, Look, I'm pretty sure I does or what? Like does yeah. like a. Uh, Wait, how old is he? Um, they're like 13, 14 years old. Whatever. No, but, um, smash or what? I probably yeah. Um, all right, that's if all that they matters. were if they were of legal age. That's all, yeah. That's all that. But that's uh, all that matters. Judging from the OP, Akira has like ice powers. Um, I forget what those yokai are called that have like mm-hmm. fucking Yuki Onna. Yeah, yeah, one of those. Um, and then Inugami is, I think he's a Tanuki or something. Uh, because he's got a tail coming out of his ass. And uh, he's able to like transform uh, himself and like objects as well. So, so, he, so his name is Inugami, but he doesn't have any Inugami like powers. He's a Tanuki. A Tanuki. Yeah, what? I think what? he's a Tanuki. Um, and then uh, in the third episode, um, they go uh, and they meet uh, a, I guess. It's like sort of an antagonist, but not really. Uh, they meet uh, Inari, which is a uh, the fox. Yeah, she's a kitsune, uh, and she has um, apparently like the entire local police precinct under her like spell or whatever. Uh, so she has a lot of like sway, and uh, she tries to cut off uh, Kabane's head. And lock him up in a briefcase, and then steal his uh, what the fuck the the life stone that's around his neck, because apparently the life stone um, makes it so that uh, yokai don't need to like feed off of humans, um, so they could like essentially do whatever they want without needing to like interact with the human world at all. Mm-hmm. Um, and then her plan was to like mass produce it or whatever, but then. Obviously, uh, you know, her plan gets foiled, and then she kind of just goes back to being, like, whatever. Um, Because apparently she helps out Inugami every once in a while. So they're, like, I guess they're, like, frenemies or whatever. Um, You know, like, they help each other out, but they butt heads every once in a while kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, at the end of the third episode, they sort of... uh, I think it's like the introduction of like the fourth or no the fifth like main cast member, uh, which is Khan, who is uh Inari's like subordinate. And uh Khan is on like the mission to like, you know, cut off Kabane's head. Um and I guess like she didn't get the memo that Inari like gave up on it. So this isn't this isn't really episodic, right? It has arcs. It's, it's arcs yeah, right? it it um. I mean, it's it's like a. I I did say it's like sort of episodic because like the the events that happen between episodes so far have been 
fairly disconnected while you know still like obviously building up towards so so kind of back and forth kind of like how bakemono guitar start tried or one guitar series tried to do it where it's like um, it had the arcs but then it had some episode like it had like one or two episodes in between yeah it seems like it um no. but yeah uh, a lot of it so far is just building up the cast uh which are all pretty likable um Kabane's a little bit uh dull i'd say he's one of those main characters that's like um he's like really like lacking emotion right because i guess he's like he grew up um like assuming his parents abandoned him or whatever and then i guess through the fact that like his stepmother like completely fucking emotionally abused him for his entire life he's like emotionally just completely cut off mm-hmm. um so he's how much little... of that how much of that comes or do you think will come back and i you probably haven't read the manga right but uh no i haven't uh, how, how does that feel like there's going to be foreshadowing of that coming back that's sort of um, his family thing i mean so the initial region initial reason inagami sort of like uh takes kabane like under his wing is because obviously uh he could, he doesn't really have anywhere to go because mm-hmm. the reason inagami came to his town to begin with is because he was hired to kill kabane by the stepmom um okay. because the stepmom apparently knew the whole time that he was a hanyo uh, but didn't tell anybody. Oh, okay, okay. And so, uh, some events happen in the town where some of their livestock is starting to like get attacked or whatever. And it, uh, the stepmom thought that Kabane was responsible, and so she hired Inagami to kill Kabane. But it turned out that it was a different uh, guy or whatever um, that was responsible for it. But either way, he he didn't really have anywhere to go, like go to. So Inagami just took him under his wing, and so Inagami offers to find Kabane's parents for him, and he agrees to it. So I I would assume that's sort of like the overarching initial plot, um, as they go through like you know, their the other arcs, where it's like they're they're slowly finding out hints. As to who his parents were, you know, uh, why they uh, left him, and mm-hmm. whatever. But uh, he, he does in the second episode. He does kind of like he like saves a family from these weird like man eating bugs, and then you know when he sees uh, the family all hugging and happy together, he's like, "I wonder what it's like to have a family." Kind of stuff. <laughs> like that. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. they'll probably have like moments of introspection here and there but for the most part coming in kind of feels like he's just like along for the ride you know yeah and then especially because the cast around him is uh is pretty bright right like inagami uh he's voiced by you know junichi suave uh and he's all slick and you know sarcastic and then uh shiki the pink head guy is voiced by natsuki hanai and he's like always grumpy and yelling and then you know akira is uh you know super energetic and cutesy mm-hmm. and then khan's like i don't really know what khan's archetype is other than like being kind of dumb um but yeah uh the show is pretty good it's pretty fun uh the audio visuals are solid uh you know studio aj do so yeah good. aj do is yeah is definitely um, doesn't suck. but you can, know, I, can i ask something there there is does seem to be a little bit of difference between uh, the general artwork shown in the manga and sort of the palette and general tone, like the visual tone at least, of what's shown in the anime, even like compared to say something, again, it's very stereotypical of me, but say Tokyo Ghoul or you know, Psycho Pass or something like that, where it's, it's definitely, in those series, there's definitely a paler, duller sort of palette being used just to yeah. set the tone. This one, it's the it's anime just colorful. seems like yeah um i don't know i think it's i mean so it's not a dark series at all right like it's right it's it's not like a super serious show 
Um, so I think the brighter color palette is perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I have seen like the like the the manga art for like the covers and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, it is a little bit more muted than what you see in the anime, but I do think the tone of the the show uh does lend itself quite well to like palette it has. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean it, it looks good. Uh, okay. I think the, I'm not too sure. I haven't seen like the uh the manga's art outside of like covers really so i'm not too sure how well i would say they translated like the art style mm -hmm. but um I, I think it looks good uh yeah. especially in motion um one thing i will say though is uh inari the like kitsune girl uh mm -hmm. is voiced by kanahanazawa right and I mean, I, the, the names in here are all big. There, yeah, there are no small I, uh, names in there. But I like did not recognize her at first. Um, she's doing a very, she's just a very, character, right? Yeah, she's doing yeah, a she's very good. high energy role uh, yeah, yeah. in this character, and I was, I was quite impressed. Um, I mean, again, okay, one thing I like, I've said this from. I mean, even Nier knows this. I think everybody knows this, and I've said this from day one. As much as I have objections to sort of the the way that um he hates Kana Kana. Kana yeah i just hate her sorry guys but uh, the, uh, as much as i have objections to the way that hanazawa kana uh hayami saori uh so uh, these sorts of newer generation voice actors are casted in a sense i i've always said from day one i've always said that when she does supporting roles she is extremely good at them like it's yeah she, she i just think her tone it's weird because, you know, typically when she does lead roles, I it's just like, her. <laughs> yeah, just her. like she gets typecasted <laughs> so hard yeah. to the point where whoever's giving her direction is kind of just like, yeah, just speak. Yeah, it's like the the author just wants you. you know, I can understand that because yeah, I yeah. Fucking, no, that's how I it happens. Love, I love Kanahana's voice. That's so how like, they legit like you've heard those interviews, right? Where they're yeah, the authors they're and are like, literally like, I just want her. Yeah. I, I, I want I want her to voice this character. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, cool, but like give her give her something to go off of. Like, yeah. But yeah, she's really, just really good at it. Just be yourself. Like it um but yeah, I quite like this show. Um I hope it doesn't go to shit. She also did the um one of the 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 teacher older like calmer teacher witch in uh, Majin no Tabi Tabi I believe, yeah. uh, so again that she also did quite very well in that role as well. And again, again she's always been very impressive in supporting roles. Yeah. Anyways, uh, any last words? Um. Yeah, I mean it's pretty good. Um, yeah. I d I'll, it's definitely a series. Uh, I'll be keeping up with. Um, near, near, yeah. Is it as good as the uh, the constant manga recommendations that it that it that appears in? It does it does it live up to that hype? What do you mean? I keep seeing it in my recommendations, and I'm like, nah, I'll read it later. Is it <laughs> worth reading it? Um, I mean, probably. Uh it seems based like a very solid the, series. Based off and the anime, is the manga worth a worthwhile read? Probably, yeah. Okay. Maybe <laughs> I will read it. Okay. Anyways, uh, thank you, Nier, for helping to cover... How come Nier gets the only good series this of this podcast? Sometimes Nier lucks out, and sometimes yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, Nier, <laughs> you should have traded with me. I'm not forcing you guys to watch the shows you're watching. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Nier, for helping cover Kimon and Jihan, again, one of the bigger names of this season, so it's good that we covered it earlier rather than trying to panic around it. Yeah, now on to the moment of truth. <laughs> Remember so, that Aspire, Aspire's opinions do not uh, speak for the rest of us? So now we come on to our last series, and... It is called Kaif <laughs> Kujitsu. He means no last. Yari. We're done. <laughs> yeah, we're done with the podcast. We're done. It's over after this. The end of the podcast. Yes, yeah, right? so I guess. Anyways, this 
It's by Studio TNK. It was originally a web novel on Shosetsu. Uh, you know, yeah, Shosetsu again. Uh, you know, the standard Japanese. It's J- J- again, we've said this a hundred times, but it's the Japanese version of fanfiction.net. No, but, no, Spire, you're wrong. Shosetsu is the gold standard in which all isekais either live or die. I I wish I could transmit how much I'm shaking my head through the internet. Like, right, I just, but anyways, it is. It became a light novel illustrated by Shio Konbu, who is a relatively famous uh, erodojin, hentai, whatever artist. And um, uh, now it's. No wonder, become, it looked, no wonder it looked nice. That's on the cover. important. And it's now well, an anime, whatever. Oh, and, hold on, uh, hold on. T and K did Kanazuki no Miko and Di- Diamond Dollar. Damn, that's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's a good studio. <laughs> and you, it, anyways, the full title again: Kaifukujisi no Yarinashi Sokushima ho to skiru. Sokushima no to skiru kopi no ah kopi no chouetsu hiru, or the healer's do over, a redo of the healer. Transcendent healing through insta kill magic and skill copying, also known as in Japan as Kaiyari for short, from Kaifuku and uh, Yarinoshi. And it is. First two episodes, Fire. How are those two episodes? I want to, I want to give the overview before I, I go over it, but it is. So we've i mean we've been building up to it right it's not like this is the first time we've mentioned and we kept moaning and groaning and toast and i have to like oh you guys just wait you guys blah 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 blah. and um i mean this just the the reaction online and whatever it's pretty much most 80 percent of what i feared would happen uh if you guys don't again if you guys thought stuff like goblin slayer or whatever what is it uh, Ari, Arifreta or Rising of the Shield or whatever the fuck was like edgy and like revenge series or whatever and I've explicitly said been on record on the podcast and said neither Rising of the Shield nor Arifreta are actual true like revenge series because at the end of the day the guy is just like oh yeah I should actually be nice guys and just you know goes on his merry way and then the pacing cuts off and does all that but it's this character development dude <laughs> I, that's true he, he does have to be the hero but this is pretty much as close to a true revenge isekai series as I can think of that isn't, you know, stuck in the cesspool that is Shosetsu ni Naro. But um, let, let me th- just say that studio, that uh, out of all the studios that would pick up this, Studio TNK is legit. Now it makes sense. I mean, it was probably going to be that or like White Fox Studios or some other studio. White Fox would not pick this up. They're, they're, they're nice boys. <laughs> White Fox K. did Goblin Slayer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but it was only for like one episode. That, that was only one episode worth of content. So it's yeah, like, whatever. Yeah, it's only one episode, so it doesn't count. Anyway. But TNK, and that high won't school, be true TXT, down the line. school <laughs> days. Oh, what Anyways, else? Uh, didn't the Nazi know These guys are legit. Yeah, I mean. There's no accounting They're so for brave. There's there, there's so no accounting brave. for taste. There's no accounting for taste. But anyways, it is the general overview is the guy is the guy it wakes up. I mean, he he he's a healing Expl- magician. Yeah, explain how his healing works, Spire. It's no, that I don't sure is healing. He he he's he he's a healing magic, but obviously because he's the protagonist, he has sort of every. He, from from his healing powers, he can kind of do everything. Is how the basic premise of his healing powers work. So he can sort of like do this weird shit where he can you know copy skills or he can mess with people's memories see, or see, blah, the, blah, blah. Skill, the skill one I make sense uh, that the skill ones make sense because when he heals, he basically reverses time and gains their experience. Yeah, more. that's sort of how they explain so, it. Off. Okay, yeah. that that one makes sense. But explain his other skills like a corruption heal and. Move Doesn't my steps sense. around. This mother, you. Um, and, uh, this stupid oh, fucking wait, author wait. sucks. I know how to. <laughs> I know how to explain it. Porn. <laughs> Anyways, the, the the idea is that the because the MC is the MC, he's the healer, but he can also do you know fifty other things as as is the usual power fantasy, and he in his first sort of 
run through of this world, right? He gets enslaved and captured and abused by the hero's party that's supposed to defeat the demon king. And because he's, you know, abused Boba, by the time he gets to the demon king and defeats Boba and uses the the treasure that lies uh, at the end, which just, is just uh, just say it's fire, just say it. The philosopher's stone. Hell yeah. Uh, he uses the philosopher's stone. He wishes to go back in time and redo everything, but then he sort of remembers everything that he suffered in his first run through, and so then his revenge starts from there. So he gets, you know, obviously the advantage of knowing what to do, how to escape, and how to get his revenge. And he goes, and the rest of the story, and not even just yeah, anime, he but he needlessly you know, and, and, buys his time for whatever reason, even though he has fucking god powers. But you know, yeah, exactly. Uh, but throughout the rest of the web novel, light novels, whatever, whatever, but well, adaptation you choose to go through, he uses his powers and gets his revenge on everyone and picks up his harem of girls. And of course, his harem of girls are all, you know, they all come to him through various methods. He, they get raped, you know, they get corrupted, they get brainwashed, all the fetishes, right? Rolled into one, blah, 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 blah. They all come along with him. Uh, this is a spoiler, but I don't care because the anime sucks. He picks up the uh, Demon King girl, right? Eve or whoever, right? Um, and then, yeah, Eve, Eve is the, Eve is the uh, Demon King girl, right? And then they like face like a single crisis and then they go off to kill the rest of the remaining hero team group and all these things happen but that's pretty much how it goes all the in between is him just you know going you know walking along the, the fantasy world you know being like i gotta have my revenge bro i gotta have my revenge oh he, there's there's a girl that i hate oh, let me rape and brainwash her there's you know blah 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 blah, blah. and going through all this shit um the audio visuals the visuals aren't much the very they're, they're unique I that's mean, for we sure need to, wait hold on spy hold, hold we on we need to mention that a little bit more the, the, oh, sorry sorry i meant i was wait i got it mixed up in my head. the audio isn't much the visuals are almost pretty much like a hentai ova and i don't mean this in terms of no, they he, copy right. they copy shio kombu's art and thus it looks like hentai i mean that's also sort of a thing but more than that the number of frames, <laughs> the the level of animation, and the sort of you know the lines of the palette and everything, the general art quality of it is pretty much on the same level yeah, as a hentai. The movie. motion, <laughs> the motion's really bad. Yeah, like, it's not okay, good. So, so Spire, hold on. Did you what version did you watch? I think what? probably the like censored, censored or version? uncensored. Yeah, I watched probably censored, censored and it's not good. <laughs> I don't know. For, uh, I, I, I've, I've seen some, I've seen some OVAs. It's, and it's this hentai is like on OVA motion. Like it's hentai. Yeah. It's literally hentai OVA. Yeah. Like, Toast hentai audio visuals. Is they're poorly not animated. No, I don't you know, know. You know. I, you know what's pretty I've funny seen, in hentai? I, I've seen the good ones and they're good. And but not this only that, like the average. shading, the shading's also. Yeah, you know what's really very funny bad about for the regular <laughs> series and not good even for a hentai OVA of the year 2020. <laughs> The the the, uh, the the animation the year was uh, as he started talking I was suddenly reminded of this thing where I noticed in hentai movies where it's like you know obviously they're having sex and they have to show essentially the back and forth animation like fifty billion times right so what happens like at the begin because it it's all the same sort of thing where they slow and then it's slow at the beginning and then it speeds up right so <laughs> but then what happens is um. You know how in it, look at this guy laughing, laughing at laughing at a uh, sexual torture. <laughs> well, I'm not talking about uh, Kayani yeah. in specific, but in Erdogan's in specific, with Erdogan's when you're reading it from page to page because the speed change how, is how, abrupt because it's they're what? different panels, right? How, how can you how can you read and see speed changes on a Dojin? Are you talking about OVAs? Because they show the speed change, they show yeah, them being more like yeah, you, you know mean? violent or whatever, right? More more active. They literally show that animation. I I I, I only yeah, watch I only speed lines or yeah. I only watch it if it has GIF versions of it. 
That's only <laughs> when it's worthwhile. I apologize. But uh, so in the hentai OVAs, right, they'll have that, like, they'll have speed one, which is like, hit, 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 and, then, and then they suddenly, like, hit, they burn. If you'll notice in, like, hentai OVAs, it changes from speed one to suddenly to, like, speed five. <laughs> wow. So like, hit, and then you're like, I mean, it's basically like. <laughs> It's as if you're watching someone else play an H game. <laughs> or no, or or somebody else is just like, if you've ever watched anime with somebody, like, you know, offline, right? Pre-COVID. And if somebody's just like, you know, let's skip this part, right? <laughs> and then they start speeding it up. That's literally what the OVAs are like. Yeah. So uh, that's you, just you, a little you, you, you know, You know what had the best animation? Yeah. That, one, that one show that came out in 2012 that everyone likes, the one with the ice cream. That's a great one. Fuck was that one? Wow, he doesn't. Near, he doesn't know. Like... Don't say the title, you you pervert. Uh, the the one with the one with the ice cream. Gif. That's a good one. Talk about like, Tolliver Darkness or something. The I only ice cream gif I can think of is Tolliver Darkness. <laughs> is the, but uh, that's not really. Anyways. No, don't, 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 don't worry, don't worry, Spire. Yeah, um, don't, don't worry, don't worry about it then, since apparently you, you don't get it. Anyways, I, I he's mean, not cultured, guys. I'm sorry. I don't really have much else to say about redo of healer. I do. I mean, let me so let me just say, you, uh, I'm, I don't the know. The first two episodes would have been better off as a. As, uh, There's hentai, nothing that could save the series. As hentai OVAs, because after this, it's just kind of yeah. Boring. I guess. I mean, the okay. So, so I just want to get this out of the way. The whole idea is that people, the important, the salient points that we have to not the salient points, but the thing that we're actually trying to get to, right, is the community response to this, right? Because at the end of the day, the studios are just kind of throwing this shit out, saying, "Hey, this is a guinea pig." You know, how are you going to respond to it? Are you going to buy more OV, OVAs of it? It's going to become popular. And apparently, this is pretty popular. There are a lot of people buying the BD DVD. There might be some like Omaki or whatever, like, well, stuff of course, they buy, the, they, they, buy the, they buy the BD. Little no, because, no, 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 because it's not because of Toast. Okay. Totally is. Have you not seen the, 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 good, the good versions of, uh, is it, uh, School the Days? Only, That's the, there. The only two reasons people ever buy BD or DVDs is one, brand name, and two, because there's some retarded umake or bonus material in the BD DVDs. Those are the only two reasons that have been statistically true since, you know, the creation of the freaking Oricon. But uh, I'm just wondering what uh, umake there is because it clearly wasn't popular due to the brand name. I'll wait and see. Um, Let's let, we'll okay. see who let, we'll see who which side justice is on Spire, me or you. It's not justice; it's just subjectively true. But the uh, the the point I was trying to make was that the community back uh, the community response to this was almost not, I mean it, it was slightly disappointing because I mean I realized part of this was going to happen, but it was still slightly disappointing as in. I mean, a lot of people were like, "Oh, you, you don't like it because it's edgy, and why are you being such an SJW?" But, like, see, that's blah, the thing. Blah, blah, that's blah. the thing. It's like it's not yeah. edgy because yeah, it's, it's just not porn. that edgy. <laughs> because it's, well, just, like, it's just porn. And, like that's mm-hmm. the thing. That's the thing that I was taken aback by when I watched the first two episodes. I expected more, like way. It's, more. it's edgy. It's edgy in the same way that a fourteen-year-old would take a kitchen knife uh, and put ketchup on it and be able to, like take a photo. And say like, oh, is this edgy? Uh, I mean, it's just like, uh, it's, uh, it's just not really like edgy because it's just, like it's just a, essentially a doujin. Like it's not. Yeah, it's a doujin. It's like this, and this it's a mediocre doujin. This, this right? isn't try. This doesn't even seem to be trying to be anything else. Like, yeah, that that's just what, like I thought. Well, no, it's it's not. It's not. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to be adding it. Oh, it's objectively not adding it. We talked about this about the example, right? And and do want to bring it up. And again, uh, this is not a flex or anything. It's depressing that I do this, but <laughs> I've read this light novel up to I want to say, or sorry, the web novel, um, the original web novel, up to the part where what is it? Uh, the demon king. Is like they're they're heading to kill off like the last like bald headed guy and it's like it's just like just before the last confrontation or whatever. But I literally read 
all this before most people that have watched, read, or reviewed the series knew what an isekai was, okay? So please spare me this, like, oh, you're surprised by this new... No, it's it's just not a good story. I read this story. It's not a good story. It's a well, mediocre story. I mean, not only is it's it It's like, not, it's supposed to... It's, there's, you're, you're, okay, let me, let me say, let me say. You're su- there's supposed to be a character you like in this series, right? None of the characters I really like. So, I mean, even... Even if you like I, the waifus, it's just not a good story. Why would you like the waifus? But They're all brainwashed. That, but yeah. not only that, it's just like, I was expecting this to be like, especially with the reaction it got, I expected this to be like, you know, on par with something like Shield Hero, but like, you know, this is the content. On, on par? Like, yeah, well, what, what the right like, I thought Shield it was going to be, no, no. like, I thought it was going to be like a genuine series. Yeah, but it's not, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's just so, like like I, I'm just kind of taken aback that people are like, <laughs> yeah, you like pff, all these like SJWs and shit, and it's like, dude, this is just like it's just porn. Like, yeah, calm it's, down. It's, like, it's not. <laughs> I, I, people, people. I mean, that... okay, so so it's after the first two episodes. It's not really porn anymore. It's like, oh, he he does this and that. Oh, okay. The only. The only porn parts are the ones where he's getting his revenge, and it's like after that, the whole series is is just him brooding and being, oh, I I I sure love revenge. I'm gonna go on a revenge spree. Yeah, oh, yeah this person and then with the girls. Just another yeah. another person add to my revenge counter. Yeah, and it's yeah. like okay, it's, yeah, ugh. everything. Yeah, yeah, no, everything Tosa is saying is true, and it's it and it doesn't yeah, improve. I mean, it just seems so like basic, like loosely strung together yeah the 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 it, honestly and i know i'm going to maybe offend a lot of people who are on that whole like oh you don't like redo of healer it because you're an sgw train but i'm sorry if you actually read the story and if you know anything even a speck of things about what shosatsu is like and i don't say it's the jp fanfic.net for for you know zero reason if you go on Shosetsu and you know you just browse through that site and you don't you know you don't necessarily pick like the top five series or whatever because they're all, I mean they're, those are all pretty garbage too. But the if you I like browse and random and start browsing into like the deeper parts of Shosetsu, you'll find the whole stuff that's like again the stuff I mentioned before in previous podcasts right where. The author's just like, I hypnotized my child friend and turned her into a meat toilet, blah, blah, blah. All this, like, completely, one, like, oh, stupid, good. like, that one's hilarious. stuff. And this is, that's one step away from what Redo of Healer is. I'm not joking. It's not because of the fetish. It's not because of the level. It's just the level of, like, <laughs> the level of brain cells required to write that sort of, Airport, airport rack. That is, this is what it is. It's just not impressive. Again, no, don't, we, don't, don't, don't worry, Spire. You forgot. There, there's always going to be the opposite to the meat toilet. My meat toilet turned into my childhood friend. <laughs> and it's like, no, not, wow, this series is great. I mean, I, I mean, that'd be I hilarious. That. Oh my that. god, yeah. that'd be great. Oh, that'd be, that'd be the most hilarious premise. <laughs> That's a great idea. Um, but. Uh, the the thing is, it's uh, I it, it just again we'd be having maybe a different conversation. Not really if it was just some the sort seri- of if the, if the series was actually good. But yeah, if, if it was some sort of like literary masterpiece with all these cultural up. themes, and then it had rape on top of it, maybe we'd be having a different conversation. But it's not. And furthermore, uh, I just want to add another point to what Dark said, where people are he's like it seems like they're kind of just putting on rape. No, it's not just that it seems, and I'm not criticizing Dark or anything. I'm just putting on the period. I'm not. I'm putting on the period. It is objectively what they are doing. Objective. There is no well, argument mean, to the contrary. I only because, said it seems because it's like at the time. Yeah, because I because didn't you weren't watching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but then but then again, as as I repeated multiple times, the guy, the author, right, the actual author of the web novel, when it got adapted into a light novel to celebrate the publication of the light novel he added 
extra bonus ra- like he narrated yeah, extra but- bonus rape scenes in the light novel along with illustrations like this is not like you guys see what's happening it's not about having you know rape as a natural you know course of actions with this complex revenge blah 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 character no he literally just wants that in the series because that's his fetish that is it <laughs> that is objectively what happened in the publication timeline and, and so to say you know oh you're just you know maybe you know they just added in rape as part of the natural sort of emotional blah 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 garbage emotional baggage of the characters and it's part of this why are you so he- no it's because it's a stupid series with a stupid story and it adds stupid value by adding extra rape and nobody I, I repeat nobody looks at a menu and says i'd like extra rape to go along with this okay let's just let's just put it out there nobody in their right mind and uh, like outside of maybe you know jacking off with your own like h dogens or whatever in your own room Nobody looks at a series and goes, you know, I I like some more rape with this. Like that'd be really. I'm like, what? What? Spire, Spire, Spire. Spy, listen, he had the advantage of having a good anti dojin artist, so he's like, let's keep this going. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, gotta be gonna milk that. Yeah, we gotta milk. I mean, <laughs> that, gotta... that, that's my take on it. That's that's actually not a terrible take. <laughs> that's actually a pretty good take. But yeah, that's just that's just all my my rant on on this series. But 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 spy here all 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 the, all the uh, sexual torture makes sense because as a hero, his body his body fluids can limit break you. So <laughs> so so the whole point the whole point yeah. of him becoming a meat toilet is because hey hey hey, g- g- give me your, give me your jizz. It'll make me limit break from level ninety nine to one hundred. Yeah. It's like, and so I'm like, really? really? You're, you're you're trying to go the you're trying to go the the fate state night mono route with this? Oh, okay, I guess. Sure, sure. okay. Yeah. Very. I don't even. It's not even a disappointing series because it's. I looked at the series when I came out in Blade Novel. I was like, yeah, this is this is going sort of how I expected this show sets a series to be into right into the uh, into the dung pit um but it, it certainly didn't come out any better in the anime that's for sure so that's pretty much all i had to say about it all in all would you recommend the- this show <laughs> that's the big question right uh i would not recommend this show and it's not on the basis of the whole like fetish or whatever thing it's just not a good story it's just not a good isekai to bother watching and obviously I mean, well, the extra rape yeah, doesn't help. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I'll I'll just say if if you thought episode uh, two was pretty bad, uh, just wait till you see what he does to the other heroes. I guess. Cause yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Setsuna is not Setsuna. Um, who is the who is the knight person? Kuraha, what? right? Kuraha is the Kuraha is the knight, and Setsuna is the wolf, right? Yeah. Kuraha is technically she, the one she, that okay. worth with it, right? What? Yeah. Kuraha no? gets like. No, no, no. You're, ta- you're talking about Blade. Blade. Blade is the sword hero. No, no. Yeah. Out of the harem. Out of the harem. Oh, she gets. Kuraha gets off scot free. Kuraha? Yeah, she gets us. She... Doesn't she get she, like not, chopped nothing. off and then like regenerated a billion times? Isn't that, isn't that her shit? Is it? I think so. Setsuna that's, gets that's off pretty, pretty easily, right? No. Anyways, this he, is... he doesn't do anything bad to her. Yeah. She, she's yeah. The, probably the only innocent person in this yeah, series, yeah. I guess. <laughs> the only, yeah. Anyways, this is this is neither here nor there. But that's pretty much all I had to say about this fucking series, and I hope it doesn't come. Oh, it's back. good. I, I told you. Just wait until we get to we get to play because you know she's a she appears in the opening. We got to see her revenge, and it's like, no, we don't. Yeah. Anyways, that's all I had, and with on that note, on that very interesting note, we'll move on now to our news. So we don't have much news, you know, these past two weeks is the usual state of affairs due to the COVID pandemic going on, but we will do what we can. So first off, a little bit on the Jinmaida front, because I know people are interested, especially after... 
the day I became a god, right? The very interesting series uh, that, retro- that retroactively killed Charlotte again. <laughs> or Angel Beats, excuse me. Okay. So <laughs> Jun Maeda is already on the warpath again. He will publish a book called Nekokari Zok no Naga, uh, the cat hunting tribe's chief on March 23rd. And just as quick as they said that, they, Kodansha has removed Jinmaida's new book <laughs> from its list of upcoming books. The company had previously listed that it would publish this book on March 23rd. So my guess is that it's just getting delayed due to health complications or Maida getting pulled aside and being like, hey, we really like the day I became a god, so we'll need to make another, <laughs> another great series. <laughs> another freaking awesome show, dude. Yeah. So watch out for Jun Maida's 50th masterwork. Coming to you soon. Uh, next, a little bit on the company front. This is a sort of continuation of the previous news about the Capcom cybersecurity breach. But Capcom confirmed on Tuesday that personal information maintained by the Capcom group has been compromised following the customized ransomware, ransomware attack caused by unauthorized access to its network on November the 2nd. Capcom had announced on November 16th that personal information of nine people had been compromised, and the company verified with its latest investigation update that personal information of an additional 16,406 people have been compromised. And this includes okay. their name, this includes their name, address, phone number, email address, and HR information. Uh, so obviously it's not like the most, you know, like it's not credit card information or anything like that, but it's pretty much all the standard like stuff you don't want to be <laughs> covering in a cybersecurity breach. But it's all it's also still pretty funny that they're like, yeah, like nine people. Oh, never mind. It was actually like nineteen thousand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. is, is this just as bad or worse than the PlayStation one a while back? Definitely not as bad as the PlayStation. Not as bad one. as PlayStation. Yeah. PlayStation's was like fucking all of their customers. Oh boy. And I think uh, that also did have credit card info. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Next piece of news. So this was related. This is related to events that happened, I believe, a few weeks back, where people on Twitter reported that they were getting blocked and so on because they had uh, anime avatars, right? Like Dragon Ball, One Piece, stuff like that. So people were complaining, and even an artist related to Dragon Ball, right, got got blocked or something like yeah. that. So. Awesome. Beginning on Thursday last week, Twitter locked numerous accounts and deleted uploaded images in response to copyright claims allegedly under the name of Japanese manga publisher Shueisha. Many of the images deleted were related to Shueisha properties, in particular the manga One Piece and Dragon Ball Super, and included fan art and cosplay photographs. Shueisha told ANN on Wednesday that the copyright takedowns were not from Shueisha, from a third party using the company's name without permission. Oh, boy. Oh my god, it's such a mess. Yeah, that Shisha does happen nine. quite a bit, too. Yeah, 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 I know it does, but still. Um, but but while Shueisha denied any involvement in the takedowns, there's a third part of some people, you know, on Twitter said uh, there was a third party who supposedly used Shueisha's name to harass others. And um, apparently the the related, you know, information of who was doing the harassment apparently said they they, they were belong to Katakawa and not Shueisha and so on. But it's probably some, you know, random foreigner doing random shit, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the other problem is with those, uh, with that type of shit too, is that sometimes they use it to get um, the people's personal information and essentially dox them when they Mm -hmm. send that. Because if you want to refute a DMCA, uh, they wind up like, you know, whoever put it on you, Winds up seeing what information you submit. So, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> also, pretty shitty. Yeah. Copyright law is fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, it's great. Yeah. Very unfortunate. But yeah, that was it with the non people news. On to the people news, real quick. First off, on a somber note, the family of illustrator Kogecha revealed on Kogecha's Twitter account on Friday that he had passed away in June 2020. Um, this is according to a workplace accident, uh, non-criminal nature, and he was he was prolific in a bunch of recent ser- stuff, such as um, Ryuno Kotaro's Million Crown, Iwakura Fumiya's Anonatsu Boku wa Tenshi, Tenshi wo Mita, uh, Ishikari Yuba's Juryoku Akemek, 
症状提督あ、不可視投資、スカーツの中の秘密を、like light novels and so on. He also、uh, drew the cover illustration for the 11th volume of the fake Grand Order Dengeki comic anthology work. Please wish condolences to his friends and family. Next. Kito Akari, Akari Kito,、uh, voice actress, announced on Twitter that she has been diagnosed with gastroenteritis.、Uh, enteritis. She had posted on Twitter last week that she had a cold, but when she did not recover, she went to a large hospital to get reexamined. So, again, very unfortunate. She does not have COVID, but again, she does have gastroenteritis. She,、uh, Kito plans to gradually resume working and she looks forward to continued support from her worried fans and related parties. So,、um, Obviously, she's done a bunch of stuff, most notably Nezuko and、uh, Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba,、uh, Kaho and Blenda, so on and so forth. Please wish her a speedy recovery. And last but not least, musician and composer Sakamoto Ryuichi announced on his official website on Thursday that he has been diagnosed with rectal cancer. He added that he has undergone surgery and is currently undergoing treatment, but noted that he'll now be quote unquote living alongside cancer. And hopes to、uh, make music for a little while longer. So he's doing, you know, he, he was previous, obviously, very prolific composer.、Um, he, won the, he won the Academy Award for Best Original Score and the Grammy Award for The Last Emperor Film in 1988. And he did compose the soundtracks for The Wings of Hone Amis,、uh, The Appleseed Anime Movies, and Le Chevalier、uh, d'Eon,、uh, and so on. So again, please wish him. Uh, you know, safe, safe voyages and obviously、uh, more just as prolific work ahead. And with that, we are quickly on to our shout outs and call outs. Everybody here gets one shout out and one call out each. The shout out is something that you want to praise, compliment, five out of five on Yelp. And it can be any one thing, person, place, or thing. And call out is the exact opposite, something that you want to give zero out of 10, something that you want to rant about, something that you want to set on fire, and it can be any one person, player, or thing. And we start with n i r Wow.、Um, shout outs to.、Um, I don't know. Shout outs to.、Um, Uh, so two days ago, yeah, two days ago, um, uh, Friday,、mm-hmm. uh, it was Romy Park's birthday. Oh,、um, okay, all right. So, shout outs to that. Uh, I like Romy Park a lot, she's uh, my favorite voice actor, so it's cool. Um, what's she voice at? Uh, a lot of stuff. Um, Off the top of my head, she's、uh, It's a guy at Toshiro. Nice. Yeah. She's、um, she's Hanj in、uh, Attack on Titan.、Uh, she's the Black Knight in Grand Blue.、Um, and I think she voices.、Uh, Yo, Edward his, Elric? Nice.、Name? Yeah, Edward in、uh, Full Metal Alchemist. But、um, yeah, she's cool. Um, Is she better than Sakura Tange?、Um, I like her more, yeah. Okay. But、uh, call outs.、Um, I was going to call out the burger I ate. but...、Um, <laughs> well, what was on the burger? Elaborate.、Um, I mean, it was just simple stuff. It was a burger with,、right. uh, with bacon. I think it was the bacon、um, and pickles and ketchup and mustard. And that's all that was on it.、Um, pretty sure it was the bacon that did it. The bacon betrayed you. Because,、uh, <laughs> because my mom had a burger as well, and hers did not have bacon. She was fine. Oh, okay. So、yeah. I think it was the bacon.、Mm-hmm. But I don't know.、Um, but yeah, I'm actually going to call out、um, Shadowverse. <laughs> because、uh, they、You're、just put up a c k a g e you know, as the podcast was going. Uh, Wait, what? Yeah. And they're not nerfing、uh, anything that's in rotation right now.、Um, they're buffing、uh, a completely irrelevant Runecraft card, and they're buffing a Portalcraft card that's about to rotate out.、Um, 
And the only thing they're nerfing is some unlimited shit. Uh, so the meta is going to be fucked for quite a while. Um, I really fucking hate the way that Shadowverse like does balance, where it's just like it's pure numbers based. Like the only thing they look at is like win rate and like uh, play rate, and that's the uh, only uh, thing that it's they been, do. It's been their curse for quite a while. Yeah, it sucks ass. Um, like it's really baffling to me that Shadowverse has been going for so long, and the balance team hasn't like wisened up. And started like listening to the community, um, and looking at like what people absolutely fucking hate about the game uh, in its current states. Uh, it sucks. Um, I'm probably gonna stop playing for a while. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Dark. Shout out, call out, please. <sighs> um. Yeah, I'm gonna give a shout out to uh shout out to our boy Tom Clancy, you know? <laughs> um no shout out to that sale though. It's a pretty good sale. A lot of lot of pretty fun games. You can have a decent enough time with them. Uh on a pretty steep sale, you know. Uh was it breakpoints like nine dollars? And then the DLC is like nine dollars. Same thing for division as well. Too. Both, uh, both pretty fun games. Like, get a decent amount out of them. So, mm. pretty, uh, pretty solid overall. And your call? You know, I wasn't really sure what to call out, um, but I think I'm just gonna like. I guess I'll just call out my myself for waiting too long to go to the doctor. Oh, what happened? I just, like, waited for, like, a month thinking that this, like, pain in my leg would go away. Uh, and it didn't. Oh. Uh. Uh, so I've just had sciatica for the past month. If you don't know what that is. It's either a herniated disc or just, like, you crush the nerve in your right. leg that just goes all the way down. So, um, went to the doctor today, got some muscle relaxers and anti-inflammatories and it seems significantly better already so is it it's nothing permanent right hopefully no it shouldn't be it's just been there for a while because i've been on it right uh, and i also well, haven't been like taking anything and apparently you can also take like six weeks or a little bit more right go away so okay. you know um i good to see it's nothing luckily like, super... yeah and luckily um still hit the gym because mm -hmm. you know that like stimulating it just like kind of eases the pain uh, <laughs> that uh don't really do like elliptical stuff but you know treadmill like walking uh on an incline shit. right been doing that good stuff all right toast shout out call please. Shot you, you know, you know what's pretty cool, Call Alive. <laughs> True. I, I saw that. I saw that Lavi 3D, and that was pretty good. Pretty, okay. pretty, pretty good. Oh, okay. oh, jeez, huh? yeah, okay, yeah, it's pretty good. And uh, so, so you say, so you say, uh, sing in English. That was pretty good too. I, I recommend that, even though it's unarchived, boys. But okay. you, you know where to find it in the in the deep dark uh, tre trenches of the, of the dark side of YouTube. But yeah, it's pretty good. Jeez. Yeah, uh, yeah, and other stuff. Natsuri eight hundred K, the Apex tournament, which I didn't watch, but apparently it wasn't good. Nene three D is uh delayed because she's getting a new costume, and that's gonna be her new default for her forever. So. Yeah, so they gotta make new, release the new costume, and then her 3D, which is why she's not gonna be in Bloom, unfortunately. Oh yeah, check out Bloom. That that's, that's gonna be good. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, One call up. Yeah, your call up. Uh, the 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 aches and pains of my fellow podcast members. 
I guess. Oh, thanks, Toast. <laughs> not, not you, Spire. Are you in pain? No. Go I've, away. I've been a, at least this podcast. I've been in pain. I, I'm. I, you could give me a little bit of. Uh, okay, you know? your 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 emotional little pain. Little. I yes. feel for you, but yes. I feel. But in reality, I feel more for near and dark physical pain. Yes, I guess. yes, definitely. Yeah, I guess I'm done. <laughs> okay. Uh, and my shout out call out then. My shout out, I guess, goes to. Uh, it actually goes to uh, mushrooms and white wine because it actually, you know, fills me up enough during this diet to. I don't understand get me how meals. people like mushrooms. I hate. Them. I like. I like the taste of mushrooms, but I don't like eating the actual mushroom. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's reasonable. There's there's like a certain texture that you do have to. Get I mean, used to. I'm I'm fine with tofu and whatever, but like mush ugh, mushrooms, it's <laughs> like when people say, "Oh, oh, you gotta." I grilled a portobello for you. It's just like a steak, and I'm like, no, it's not. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'd, rather, again, I'd rather eat some tofu over, like, like mabu tofu or other like spicy tofu over a portobello steak on your grill. No thanks. Yeah, I mean, people, I've I've never pretend I, I'm one of those people that explicitly think that you shouldn't try to just gun for uh, substitutes like vegan substitutes. Just vegetables are fine. Just eat vegetables. Blah blah. But that being aside, again, um, white wine and uh, mushrooms giving a pretty decent, you know, hefty filler and kick to the small amount of the actual meal, meat, and so on that I have to uh, eat every day for my diet. So that's nice. It actually fills my stomach. Why do why do people have to eat so much to live? Like, <laughs> that's that, a very philosophical question. It's like, <laughs> it's like I eat in the morning and I'm like, okay. I'm I'm good for the rest of the day, but then like at noon or three p.m. I'm like I'm suddenly hungry again. But I then I'm like, but I just ate this morning. Why do I have to eat again? Yeah, I'm trying to be such kind as, of tedious. Yeah, yeah, such as such as uh, being an organism or organism on this planet. Very, it's a very tedious thing to go through. <laughs> Life just processes. Become a breatharian, dude. Yeah, <laughs> and absorb just, all your nutrients through the air. Yeah, just, well, I'm like I'm okay with photosynthesis or whatever, or like, <laughs> or like give me a, a a nutrient pack at least. I mean, I'm I'm okay with like IV a, drip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's uh, like sure, sure, give me the recommended amount of nutrients for me to survive and not not be hungry again. Yeah. <sighs> oh, uh, and my call out. Honestly, I thought of this just as we were going through the shadows call us themselves, but. It is to the general Japanese. It's not really the anime industry. It's more the general their, their adap- choices. Yeah, their choices. Ad- adaptation. In, 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 the, yeah. yeah, the general publication industry that exists in Japan that's related to anime, light novels, web novels, manga, and stuff like that. Because it's just so. Pre- I mean. The, the the good stuff is still there. It's like where where is it? Give me the good isekai stuff. I mean, there are plenty of good authors. I agree with Toast. It's just that, uh, like the stuff that does get on. I mean, oh, one hand, yes, I understand the whole. Oh, there's an obvious metric and bookmarks and likes and favorites. You know, on shows that say we can just pick those and then maybe it'll scale up. Whatever, right? All white light novels, manga, and following adaptations because this, those same people will buy it or more people will buy those than the less popular ones or whatever the metric is, right? And that's, like, reasonable, but it's still, like, at the point that we're really... At the point that now we have an entire machinery, and it is a machinery. It is an industrial complex, almost, of people that are... Of editors that are trawling through Shosetsu, trying to get, you know, the popular isekai revenge fantasy of the day and just putting it up for adoption at the nearest light novel publisher or the manga publisher or the anime studio or whatever. It's just so, so, so... I mean, again, do you guys remember when... The Isekai people, Industrial Revolution. People, yeah, the, the people were talking about how, you know, on the Wikipedia page, for instance, for something like Fifty Shades of Prey, right? Or, or whatever, right? They were like, oh, this... This came from freaking fanfic. I mean, it was it, like this is already pretty crappy, but this came from fan, and people were making fun of it because the author, you know, originally made it on like fanfiction.net or whatever, right? 
Um, and this is, Japan is taking that head on. They were like, oh, it's okay that these are crappy. As long as they're, they've got 100,000 likes, we'll just put this shit on air. And it's just the most, like, oh my god, just stop. Like, please at least have some baseline of quality, right? Just some, any baseline of quality. Just something. Just have some moral dignity in terms of publishing shit. And please stop. Like, it, 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 it doesn't matter whether it's, you know, just boobs and butts or whether it's mechas flying everywhere or sword fighting or whatever. Just give me better storytelling. Give me better characters. Like, please have some sort of standard. It's just so... What's your bottom line, Spire? My bottom line? That's a good question for an, exa- an example of a series for bottom line, but I don't even know, man. I mean, I, I, it's just like at the point that we're having to talk about having a bottom line is just so depressing, honestly. But yeah, that's just my call on. It's just this whole machinery, this whole complex, industrial complex level of just people trawling through show sets to get some crappy power fantasy series that they'll later anime like White Fox or... Ajiado or Silverlink or some other fucking studio will animate. It's just almost painful to me. I don't know. It's stupid. You know what and, started? You know what started yeah. off as a hentai series, but turned into the greatest anime series of all time. What? Babe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's pretty. Yeah, much... Wow, you you don't you don't like Fate Stay Night near? I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't call it. I don't think I would call it the greatest series of all time. <laughs> it got so great that the that that later releases remove remove the hentai parts because they were no longer unnecessary. It is a <laughs> it is a it is a rare series that has that has outgrown its hentai roots. Unlike friggin' <laughs> unshackled. <laughs> unlike friggin' Taimani and Asagi. Oh my God. Like, what what are you doing? Get back in there. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty much all I have for my shout out and call out. And with that, we are done with this podcast. Pretty succinctly, succinctly done. Obviously, we're going to have a couple more uh, reviews for the winter season. I don't know whether we're going to have three more episodes or four more episodes before we blast off into our preview show, but we're going to have at least three. So watch out for those. We're going to head on to, you know, the bigger series, the more arc-based, the more overall, like, less episodic series. So watch out for that. And if you like what we do, we stream our recording of the podcast every other Saturday, starting from 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over at twitch.tv slash 4 Cast. That's what it's for. Where we talk about the latest and greatest in Japanese animation media, in including anime, manga, light novels, web novels, visual novels, and so much more. So check us out here. Check us out, check us out on the VOD section where we have all the highlights of the recordings of the VODcast, obviously. And you can check us out on our YouTube as well. We have the same dates. So whichever format that you please, check us out on our social media for more updates and news on Facebook, 4Play Anime Cast, as well as on Twitter, at 4PP Anime Cast, all with the numeral 4. And with that... We'll see you next time.